there are certain topics which we think we know better but when we go into the details of the topic then we realize that really we don't know much about that particular topic or the disease one of those uh, topics is uh, acute rheumatic fever and this lecture we are going to cover the all aspects of acute rheumatic fever so basically acute rheumatic fever is a multi system disease resulting from an autoimmune reaction to group a streptococcus you can remember as gas group a streptococcus so acute rheumatic fever and rheumatic heart disease are diseases of poverty so we have a huge incidence of rheumatic fever rheumatic heart disease few years ago definitely we can say at this point in time there is a significant reduction of uh, acute rheumatic fever and subsequently we are going to see less uh, incidence and prevalence of rheumatic heart disease so it is in 1600s sindenham first described the chorea so the first manifestation which is described in rheumatic fever is ironically is the last clinical manifestation of acute rheumatic fever so the last manifestation was described as the first manifestation so charles wells in 1812 associated rheumatism with a carditis he is the one who connected the joint pains to the carditis as well as subcutaneous nodules 1880s the connection between pharyngitis and rheumatic fever came through walter and 1889 the classic description of acute rheumatic fever came and it is alvin f coban in 1931 suggested that the beta hematic streptococci is the reason for the pharyngitis as well as acute rheumatic fever in new york so 1944 is a very important year where uh, the duckett jones developed the diagnostic criteria for diagnosing rheumatic fever so this is called the jones criteria to diagnose acute rheumatic fever and of course uh, he uh, presented with the basic criteria to diagnose acute rheumatic fever subsequently it was modified with the new information so epidemiology of the acute rheumatic fever is linked with gas rheumatic beat group a beta hemolytic streptococcus pharyngitis both have maximum incidence of the age between 5 to 15 years very rare before 50 before 5 rare after 